right. Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining. My name is Sarah Deal, and I'm a data and analytics consultant at Thurgood. If you don't know us, Thurgood is an independent specialist data and analytics consultancy with a focus on data engineering, data science, and data visualization. Our approach is rooted in understanding business goals and using the capabilities of technology to meet these goals. So customers and business objectives are at the forefront of our approach. In today's brief video, I'll be giving an introduction to the tool Looker, what it is, and what are some of its key features. So to jump right in, if you're not familiar, Looker is Google's visualization tool. But to take a step back, Looker was actually founded in 2012 as an independent computer software company. It was the first commercially available BI platform built for and aimed at scalable or parallel relational database systems like Redshift, BigQuery, Vertica, and Teradata. Looker was eventually acquired by Google in 2019. The acquisition was finalized in 2020, and Looker is now a part of Google Cloud and you'll see it listed as a product within the GCP console. Google describes Looker as a multi-cloud data platform, which goes beyond BI to help organizations deliver impact through data experiences that fit the way the people work. Looker seamlessly integrates into business workflows and embeds into third-party systems and enables companies to build their own data applications. It's a BI application with analytics-oriented application server that sits on top of relational data stores. Now I've given a quick intro to the tool, here are some of the features that I think make Looker stand out as a top-notch data visualization tool. First is Looker's user-friendly workspace. Looker's workspace is different compared to other tools in that it is completely browser-based. Many comparable tools in the market have a browser-based component and also an additional local application for development. With Looker, you do not have to install any applications on your local machine in order to begin development. Everything that you need will be right in the web browser application. This simplifies the overall user experience and makes it easier and quicker to get going on projects since everything you need is packaged and managed right in one central place online. Another is the ability for either cloud or on-premise hosting. Like similar BI tools, Looker can be installed on cloud services or on-premise. Where Looker stands out is that it allows you to choose the stack that best suits your organization's needs. Looker offers the capability for hosting on public, private, hybrid, and multi-cloud environments. Then we have my personal favorite, which is the parallel publishing capability. This is not something that is common across various BI platforms and is a huge benefit for developers. In comparable tools, there can only be one person making changes to your model or reports at a time. There are a few downsides to this format, but mainly this can create confusion around versioning uh, and also slow down the development process with only one person able to make improvements over time. So this is really a big one for Looker. And finally, Looker's API. Looker provides a secure API that has a wide range of uses. The Looker API can be used to perform a variety of different tasks, such as managing your Looker instance, fetching data from your data platform, creating custom applications and data-driven workflows, writing scripts to provision new user accounts, running queries, scheduling reports, and much more. According to Looker, basically anything that you can do within the Looker application, you can do with the Looker API. One of the coolest features that Looker has, in my opinion, is again, that it's fully browser-based. So changes are going to be automatically saved in the environment, improving collaboration and versioning. This means there's no need to download that software on your local machine or have to worry about local copies of reports. Here we can see a sample of what it looks like in the browser when you try to start building out visuals. When you navigate to the visualization tab, it'll present you with options for standard visuals. You can also click on the ellipses for additional ones. After you build up different visuals, you can then start building a dashboard. So lastly, I just wanted to show an example of what a Looker dashboard looks like. Here's a video from Looker's website to show a sample of a user interacting with the dashboard. So this is just a sample dashboard meant to highlight some of the different visualization and interactivity options that Looker provides to their users. You'll see that as they interact with the visuals on their selections are then added in purple to the top. And it's kind of easy to see what filters are being applied on the report, just kind of giving that other layer of insight into what's going on as well. So that is it for an intro to Looker. Thank you for joining and please reach out to me if you have any questions or like some more information on the application.